Hello, I'm David Castro, President of Pennsylvania's Institute for Leadership Education, also known as iLEAD. On behalf of community leaders across Pennsylvania and America, today I am urging you to prepare to vote in November 2012. Your future and the future of your family, community, and nation depend upon your vote. Don't let anyone tell you that your vote doesn't matter or won't make a difference. Don't believe it. Your vote is a matter of life and death. It will change the course of human destiny. In the year 2000, our national presidential election was decided by less than 1,000 votes out of close to 6 million cast in the state of Florida. Make no mistake about it. The outcome of that election changed the entire future of our nation, opening pathways for massive wars, massive military expenditures, tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans, deregulation, and massive deficits and debt that brought our nation to the brink of complete economic collapse, causing untold suffering and setbacks throughout our society and the world. Today, the road before us is forking again, and we have a choice, a choice between hope and despair, between progress and decline, between fairness and injustice. Pennsylvania is one of the most critical states in the coming election. As you may have heard, this year, in a highly partisan vote, the Pennsylvania legislature changed the rules for voting. Pennsylvanians who have voted for years in their communities are now required to show specific kinds of photo IDs in order to vote. Many believe that the new voter ID law will cause thousands upon thousands of elderly and minority voters to be deprived of their voting rights in much the same way that poll taxes, literacy tests, and unjust registration schemes were used in the past to block low-income minority voters in the South. Over the last 100 years, countless civil rights leaders have dedicated and even laid down their lives securing the freedom to vote for women, for minorities, and the poor. Having come so far, we cannot allow our communities to be silenced and sidelined in this election because we failed to vote. We cannot allow our children's futures to be stolen away by those who hope to suppress the voices of dissent and reform. We cannot allow a travesty of justice to stand unquestioned and unchallenged. We must fight back. Today, community leaders across Pennsylvania are asking you to take a stand, to make sure to prepare, to take all the steps necessary to vote. We are asking you to promise to vote. We are asking you to reach out to every family member, every friend, every colleague, and every co-worker, and to get each and every one to promise to vote. We are not asking you to vote for any particular candidate or political party. When you vote, we are only asking that you use your heart and your mind to express your free civic choice. If you do not have a current photo ID from PennDOT, to learn about how to obtain a valid photo ID so that you can vote, go to www.votespa.gov. You can also register for Pennsylvania's Institute for Civic Engagement at this link. The Institute will provide you with a photo ID that you can use to vote and to help you learn to become a civic leader in your community. As the Reverend Martin Luther King said, the arc of history bends towards justice. But it bends because we, as a community, bend it. This November, vote. Do not fail.